So consciousness is one of the deepest mysteries that um, we have ever attempted to resolve. And part of the problem with studying consciousness is that it's very difficult to measure. But there's, we do have some insights. And um, for one, in the context of how the brain tells time, um, there's evidence that consciousness is not really what it seems to be. So what I mean by that is we feel the con our, our subjective experiences unfolding um, in the world around us in sort of this linear narrative in which B follows A, in which C follows B, and D follows C, in which things are happening in a linear um, progression. But in reality, it seems that our subjective experiences, our conscious narrative, might not be that linear. So there's a number of experiences or experiments that suggest that the brain processes information in sort of a discontinuous and discrete manner. So it's not that I'm conscious of um, everything happening in a nice linear progression. It seems to be in some cases that what happens um, after interferes or modulates what our conscious experience of those things that came before. So um, there's something called the cutaneous rabbit illusion, in which if you feel a couple of taps on your arm, maybe one, two, three, four, people will feel that as sort of a continuous progression. But in reality, <coughs> that can't be a continuous progression because it's the taps that came later that determined where you felt that the previous taps um, were occurring. And if you think of something like speech, um, you're probably not aware of my speech in a syllable-by-syllable, word-by-word uh, manner. You, it seems to be that, that we become conscious of um, events or around us, um, sort of in chunks in which your unconscious mind reaches a point of analysis by taking in, sampling everything that's happening around it before a subjective experience is delivered into your conscious mind. So I think there's some suggestions that the unconscious brain is continuously um, taking in, sampling events from through its sensory organs, um, waiting to appropriate um, points in the narrative to deliver something, a nice narrative of the world around us, into our conscious mind. So in the case of speech, for example, we don't have an experience of every, f uh, every syllable, syllable by syllable, every word by word, but sometimes we have this chunking that happens. So for example, if I say the mouse pad was beside the computer, in that case, the mouse could have another meaning. The mouse could mean a rodent, or it could be the mouse pad of a computer. But you only knew the meaning of the word mouse with the word, in this case, that came after the word mouse. So the mouse pad. I could have said the mouse was hungry. So the meaning of the word mouse can only be understood based on what comes after that. So it seems that when people understand that, um, they might have to wait to the appropriate time to create a conscious perception or a conscious interpretation of um, what we're listening to. So I think there's mounting evidence that consciousness is not a linear flow of what's happening around us, but sort of a creation, a narrative, a convenient narrative of um, what's happening around us created for our viewing pleasure by the unconscious brain.